It's not top secret this then. No, all above board. So this is a Plaza Model R93 338 Batmag. Um, the ammunition, 338 to put Magnum, is a service round used in the military for sniping. Uh, it's in service in the UK and the US and several other developed militaries as a sniper round. Uh, I've got it today to try and put a hole through some steel that we've got out there at about 300 odd yards. Try and zoom in on it and see what we can do. Where are we? Just above the deer there. Center still. Still just over the top edge. Take three more clicks off, anti clockwise, three clicks. Fire again. Okay, you think I'm still a bit low? It's certainly not putting holes in it, is it? I don't think so. Okay. Camera survived anyway. Fresh away. Well, there's uh, nothing like some background to this. <laughs> this is the brand new Blazer R8 338 Lapua Magnum with the GRS stock. Um, Side port and muzzle brake up front maximises the recoil reduction and of course doesn't blow any downwards to cook up too much dirt from the floor or whatever. You've got the brand new Leica 6.5 to 26 LRS scope on top, which is with 5mm clips, very, very precise for long range shooting. 3.38 Lapua, 3.38 Lapua uh, ammunition, this is the 250 Lapua Senar. And of course, if you take a closer look at the GRS stock, usual blazer system, you've got the straight pull. Got a decocker, it's got pretty much the fastest action in the business. Trigger's fantastic, decocks completely locks the back, locks it closed. You can open it on full safe with nothing more than a slight push on the knob. Right. Cock for fire, decock again for safe. On the stock, you've got cheek piece adjustment up and down, and you've got length pull adjustment as well. Bro. Everything there goes in. You've got a, oh, two, plus a one, unit, yeah. 2 plus 1 magazine unit with a trigger. The trigger's actually not involved in there. There's just a small plunger at the back. And all oh, that I does see, is yeah. poke up and down because the trigger unit's actually inside 
It's right. one of the best triggers on any rifle in the business. Really, yeah. And if you look in there, you might just be able to see a little switch. And if you click that to S, it locks the magazine in the rifle. So you can't lose it, anything like that. And there we go. The bolt simply comes out. It's bolt release catch there. Cheek piece down, bolt release catch. Out comes the bolt. So easy maintenance as well. Yeah, clean it out. And all the trigger units are inside here. It is one of the best factory triggers in the business. Wow. What's that pulling at, that trigger? It'll be pulling at about two and a half pounds at the moment. They actually do a, a higher end trigger as well for it. Right, okay. <laughs> the point wow. is, even with a bit of weight on, it's incredibly crisp. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very consistent too. Do you want to see the scope mounts, the way they work? Yeah, yeah, tell me, yeah, tell me everything, let's swap sides. You've got quick release scope mount system, which is key on the blaster, and that just comes off like that. Right. I did this 20 minutes ago before I shot those, and it's still dialed on my previous settings, took on a target 340 yards as before, lock that down, lock that down, flick them closed. And I'd be 99.9% .9 sure that would hit me that shot again. Really? That is a good feature. It is that good. And of course, underneath the blazer, you've got two bolts here, which are capped with captive nuts inside the stock. Undo those. They're um, supposed to be talked about 11 newton meters, I think. Undo those, and the whole barrel unit just lifts, just out, lifts the out the stock. Right. So you end up with a, a chassis as part of the stock. Yeah, yeah. The bolts out of there, and all you're left with is that chassis in the stock. So it all folds down into a effectively um, nothing more than a an assassin's of, uh, tool and a, and a <laughs> suitcase size <laughs> suitcase size for both yeah. storage and portability yeah yeah so that's the blazer system and it doesn't just come in these big things in many sporting rifles as well awesome brilliant excellent yeah it throws it around a bit doesn't it right hand edge that one That's 30 quid. <laughs> Two more, five out of five. And there you go. Awesome. That's how to get rid of 40 quid of felony in a few seconds. <laughs> God, those cases are hot. That is awesome. Is there any more? Yeah, it throws it around a bit, doesn't it? Right hand edge, that one. That's 30 quid. <laughs> <laughs> Two more, five out of five. This is the 80 quid's worth. Yep. <laughs> Viking arms. I'm ready to fire on a command, Chris. I can aim off and fire on command. Okay. You ready? Recording now. Firing. Low on the target. Yeah. Firing again. Yeah, that's uh, about seven o'clock on the top square. Firing again. That's lower. And center lower. That's yeah, where the first shot went roughly. Yeah. Right, I'm now going to aim at the centre on the overhead bull, if you call it figure 11, okay? Yeah. Centre dot, firing. I think that was roughly where your second shot went, 7 yeah. o'clock on the top target. Top left corner of the top 
somewhere. Yeah. Firing. Not only is this a new gun, it's a brand new scope. It's the Leica LRS 6.5 to 26.6. Absolutely brand new. It'll be brand new at the CLA Game Fair though. There's only two in the country so far. Bit of an exclusive there on the video. Yeah. Cool. cool. You get those on video, Chris? Yeah. Oh, man. I'll be raised it though. You better bloody not, Al. Low on the target. Yeah. Firing again. Yeah, that's uh, about seven o'clock on the top square. Yeah. Firing again. That's low. Centre lower. Yeah. Back where the first shot went, roughly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm now going to aim at the centre on the head ball if we call it figure 11, okay? Yeah. Centre dot, firing. I think that was roughly where your second shot went, 7 o'clock on the top target. 